Hi, I'm the mysterious Elm Ford. Firstly, I want to thank all the people who have donated to the GoFundMe page by, set up by admin. I am so touched by the support shown. A year ago, Tad sent us off to Europe, 24 hours after the Italian Prime Minister declared national lockdown, refusing to cancel the trip. My European trip with crews became four nights in Budapest, and we never left that city, and it cost us $11,200 because we were left to find our own way home. Diana, Linda and I have been the backbone of the page. We've never met in person, but were united in our desire to help. Throughout 2020, we worked together mostly in the middle of the night. We made constant contact with the ACCC, Fair Trading, AFCAR, federal and state politicians, including the Attorney General and the Treasurer. We paved the way together on using NCAT, helping directly, sharing forms, precedents, putting people together. Our work on this page has succeeded obtaining hundreds of refunds for people. The company engaged in threats to both Linda and I since June 2020 by phone, email and topped off with a 38-page legal threat of criminal prosecution and imprisonment. Three company representatives attended my hearing. It is estimated a company with a turnover of $90 million has spent way more on legal threats than my claim was actually worth. After giving up one year of my life to help people fight for refunds, no one seems to care that the company can single out individual consumers. Politicians have apologised to me for the distress, but they've not actually done anything. Congratulations if your refund is in your account. If you had a five-minute hearing, so much better. My hearing was two and a half hours. My case was dismissed with zero awarded. Both Linda and I had the same member and both our cases were held on the same day and were ultimately dismissed. NCAT considered the legal threats to us irrelevant. Linda has a chargeback refund and I now have no other options. When I started to help, I had no idea that this would be the outcome. Like you, I just wanted a holiday, but when I saw how many people were struggling, I knew that I could help people and I stepped up. It really was a matter of, if not me, who? And if not now, when? We are delighted by the tremendous results. It has not been without personal sacrifice. We're just a few retired women who could not stand by and let vulnerable people be bullied by a corporation. We didn't choose the fight. In a way, it chose us. It really hurts to be left in this position with deteriorating health. My husband is a cancer patient and no refund ever anticipated. If you feel you have in any way benefited from our hard work, any small token of your appreciation would be so gratefully received. We're still here working hard for those still battling. Please stay safe. Thank you. You can donate on the link.